Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I am here with a new tutorial that is fixing the exception string or binary data would be truncated, the statement has been terminated. Okay, this is my existing project. Now I'm gonna add new form, add new item, select the Windows form in the left fan, and uh, select Windows form, name the form. Form name is exception solution underscore form. Click on add. Yes, the form is added. Now go to the toolbox and add a label control. This level control will be used as title. Text is string or binary data would be truncated. Blah blah. Okay. Solve string or binary data error. Now change the font size. Font size is 18 and font bold. Okay. For color button highlight. Okay. Now change the back color of this form yes now this is looking nice now add another level control this is for product ID so change the text text is product ID and font size now I just uh, taking three level control for product ID item name and color and change the font size font size is 12 ok 12 is enough now change the second level text level text is this level is for item name and uh, third one for color ok now I'm gonna add three text box from the toolbox just uh, drag the text box from the toolbox and drop it in the Windows form yes change the font size uh, of this text box text from the font and uh, font size is 12 ok resize this text box and add two more for item name and color ok now it's done add a button control just drag the button control and change the font size and back color for color of this button control so in the property font size is 12 and button text is save okay now back color is okay now change the for color control light highlight okay now go to the click event here I will go to insert records in the SQL Server database so start a SQL Server database yes change the server name server name is Roshan hyphen PC Roshan underscore PC I log in SA password SQL Server password click on connect ok it's connecting yes it's connected now expand the database folder I have a database my task DB to get complete code operation uh, go to the link in the uh, description box below now I'm gonna create a new table with three column first column is product ID data type is integer okay and second column is item name data type is n burger and third column is color data type is also n burger but there is uh, embarker 50 I uh, limit character 5 and item name 8 ok and product ID is primary key table name table name is product underscore tab click on ok yes my table is created embarker it means column item name allowed up to 8 character and embarker 5 means column color allowed up to 5 character ok if I want to save if you want to insert more than the selected character then it will display the 
uh, error string or binary data would be truncated okay this is my server name go to the property to copy the server name just select the server name and copy then just put just paste the server name and click on authentication SQL authentication it's an MSA password is SQL server password and select the DDBs my database name test underscore DB test connection succeeded click on OK yes it's connected now explain the database explain the table yes you can see in the table folder the product underscore tab is displaying perfectly now I'm gonna connect uh, with my project so put SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection double quotation semicolon okay now you should add namespace in the system the data dot SQL client okay the namespace is here you can see now get to get connection string right click on the database in the server explorer and click on property in the property you can see the connection string just copy the connection string and paste in the double quotation okay you should put your original password okay now on the button click I'll write code to insert records in the database table product underscore tab so first of all open the connection con that open and then SQL command SQL command C equal to new SQL command my SQL command is to insert records in the database table so insert into table name is product underscore tab insert into product underscore tab values values are product ID item name and color so single quotation double quotation then plus sign now just for the uh, text box one this is integer type product ID is integer type so integer dot first text box one dot text coffee where this one for item name and this one for color so uh, text box three for color and it is uh, n marker type so no need to convert it to integer and uh, text box 2 for item name it's also the same and worker uh, yes close the first break and then initialize the connection string con okay now it's done then co dot execute non query you should uh, write execute non query execute non query used to far from insert a delete operation okay now after performing the execution it will display the mass and other dot show successfully saved put double quotation and then successfully saved add with the double quotation yes close the connection con dot close okay yes now let's uh, check the records in the database table show table data there is no records yet now I'm gonna insert records in the database table product underscore tab First of all, change the uh, run program uh, form. My form name is uh, exception solution underscore form. So in the application run new exception solution underscore form. Okay, now I uh, when I debug, it will debug this page. Okay, now change the uh, put your original database password. Authentication password. Okay. Now just start debugging. yes product id product id is one item name mouse color black click on save oh uh, network related instance specific error is displaying an error so uh, it means uh, the server name or instance not found to solve this error first of all stop debugging this error occurred due to the backslash to solve this error first uh, just uh, at, at, the, at the rate of at the beginning of this connection string okay now product ID 1001 item name mouse color red click on save yes successfully saved replace the table yes you can see the records is inserted successfully now 102 cpu and color is yellow save 
or it's not saved it's displaying the error string or binary data would be truncated due to yellow yellow has six character but in the color column i mentioned only five character let's check the table open table definition you can see the color is embarker five characters allowed only five character up to five character now let's uh, check the records why i tried to insert and it was the color yellow you can see y e double l o w so here are six character where is color column only allowed up to five character in that case it's displaying this error string or binary data would be truncated if it uh, it's a uh, five character then it will be insert but now i'm gonna change the character limit from five to six and then update the table okay it's updating update the database yes now debug again okay now here is only one record now i'm going to insert one more record product id 10002 item name cpu color yellow successfully saved now it's allowed to insert six character because i already mentioned i already limit the character six so one more record monitor and uh, color green yes it's also successfully saved let's check the database table yes it's also saved successfully now one more record this is item name processor core i7 color green save it's same error it's displaying this exception string or binary data would be truncated because in the item name column it's a character limit eight character but in core i7 processor uh, processor core i7 has more than eight characters so it's displaying this uh, exception string or binary data would be truncated so i just change with uh, 28 character now debug again insert uh, records once again 1004 processor core i7 greens the uh, save yes now it's successfully inserted okay thanks for watching this tutorial